In this video, we're going to look at the Clippers' late game offense process in Game 2's loss. Alright, so it's Game 2. The Clippers have a chance to even the series. They were down by a considerable margin in the third quarter. They've clawed all the way back in the fourth quarter to even take a lead thanks to a Reggie Jackson three-pointer. And we're going to look at the several possessions the Clippers had offensively after that to see if they had the right process, what went wrong, or if the shots just simply missed and that's sometimes just how basketball goes. All right, it's a tie game. Clippers have the ball, about 6.15 to go. They've got their way back into this. They made threes, they made timely decisions. Let's see how it unfolds. Patrick Beverly is pointing for Reggie Jackson to go to the wing. Jackson does. And Beverly's going to run up to set a screen against Bogdanovich. Now, this screen is going to allow Leonard to turn the corner against Clarkson. Clarkson overplays it. Leonard spins, gets downhill, draws Gobert away from Batum in the corner. By doing this, it frees up Batum to get a wide open corner three. This is a shot he's made at a high level all season. He misses it, but you will live with this shot. There's nothing you can do if you're getting great shots and still missing, but this is a great job by Kawhi Leonard. He's pushing the tempo up the floor, which is going to throw Utah into some flux. As he gets downhill, this is going to pull not only Rudy Gobert here, but it pulls Ingles away from the corner, and it's going to pull O'Neal down into the paint, which means Morris will be open on the wing. Leonard reads this, makes the pass. Morris could kick it to George, but Morris is open. He takes the three. He misses it. But look at Patrick Beverly get the offensive rebound and reset to PG. And then Beverly does something smart. He loops around behind PG where there's no defender to pick him up. George finds him. It's another open look from three. It's another miss. But these are the shots you will live with all game. I simply don't know what the Clippers could have done differently on these possessions, or at least the several that we're going to look at. Because they got high quality looks, and that's all you could ever ask out of your offense. Sometimes you just have to make them, you know? Leonard's going to try to beat Bogdanovich off the dribble, but as we see, look where Gobert is anchored. As Leonard goes downhill, Gobert knows he has to get out to the corner, which is where Morris is. But this is still a high quality look for Marcus Morris. Morris gets a good look. Gobert's late on the contest. Morris just simply misses it, and you just have to live with it, guys. This play shows how you can go from a good process to a bad process very fast. Leonard comes over to set the screen for Jackson. Jackson's gonna turn it down and get down to the rim. Rudy Gobert's gonna rotate over as you would expect. And in doing so, it's gonna leave O'Neal in the middle of Beverly and Morris. Jackson reads Morris is gonna be open and kicks it to him. Right here, Morris has to swing the ball to Beverly. He's open, but he hesitates. And by that time, Gobert's here to close out. So Beverly's gonna drive against the closeout and he goes into whatever this is. I don't know what this is. And this is where the poor process kicks in even further. Really tough shot against Gobert and it has no chance. The theme for the Clippers down the stretch of this game should have just been missed opportunities. Process was great on a lot of these. The opportunity was just simply missed. Sometimes that's just how it goes. Morris comes up to set the screen. This is a nice screen by Morris. And as Jackson comes off of this, we're gonna see that Gobert is occupied. This ball should go to Morris right now but it's late. So they end up running another screen and roll. Morris sets a screen. He kind of gets away with an illegal screen here. And Gobert is once again going to be occupied. Leonard's going to get downhill. And look who springs open on the wing. Morris. Leonard's going to hit him. This is a wide open three. If he makes this, it's a four point game. But look how Leonard's going to swim past Bogdanovich down low to get to a rebound opportunity. Rebound comes off. Boom. He's right there. If he makes this, it's a five-point game. This is well and truly the first bad possession we're actually going to look at down the stretch. Everything else has been fine. This is bad, though. This is poor process. I like the push of the pace by George. This is good. But he misses Morris on the wing, who could have played the two-on-one with Leonard. Instead, he pulls up. This is contested. It is a simply bad shot. We're going to finish this off, and I guess one bad shot deserves another. This is just poor process again. You're down 10. You have a chance still. Leonard showcases himself early down low. He does it again, but no pass goes to him. Okay, there's still options here. As Jackson goes up, we actually see Kennard pointing, and he's pointing because Morris is open in the corner. But if you don't want to pass it to Morris, George is open on the wing. Instead, Jackson goes into this pull-up jumper. It's missed, and the Clippers' chance at stealing game two ultimately just falls by the wayside and they're down 2-0.